you're like rocking the uh, LA support here. Yeah, I'm a LA local. This is my city, my town. So I'm a it. Dodger fan, Lakers fan, and I'm here to support LAPD. Yeah, so this uh, event is LAPD outreach program for the kids. Growing up, were you a little troublemaker? Yeah, I sure was, man. I was in I was in gangs growing up, and I saw LAPD as the opposition growing up. But now that I'm a responsible member of society, I grew up and matured. I see it more as someone there to protect and serve. Now, is it really tough to get out of a gang? Yeah, it is. It's definitely tough to get out. Um, but I think the best way to do it is just to focus on your education. I think everyone sort of understands someone trying to make their lives better through education. And uh, that's something that can sort of get you. Education is that gateway to get you out of your current circumstance into a more prosperous, responsible one. This is really interesting because, I mean, it's not every day I get to talk to someone who's been in a gang. Yeah. So I'm going to ask a couple of questions here. Let me know if it's too personal or not. Yeah. But um, it, the whole thing with gang, is it uh, gang violence towards other gang members or is it towards the public as well? Well, the way you got to look at it, a lot of people don't understand it, but for a young kid, a gang is their family. Right, so it's someone that they eat with, you know, hang out with all the time, and there's an allegiance that's there. And sometimes this gets misdirected, where you have someone who you look up to as an older brother saying, hey, someone did us wrong, we have to go correct that. Now the proper way to correct that is to go to LAPD and say someone did us wrong, right. and to have them corrected, but taking it into your own hands is where the violence starts. Well. You certainly seem uh, to be uh, to have an amazing journey coming out of a gang and you know being so positive about it. Uh, and thank you so much for coming out and supporting an amazing cause. What's going on with the career? Let's keep it a little more lighthearted. Absolutely, ex gangster, you. A absolutely. Actually, no. It's funny because I'm actually having LAPD support um, the UNI Foundation. Oh, I'm, nice. start I'm starting I'm starting a foundation through Urban Icon. Um, it's called the UNI Foundation. It's for kids in Compton and Inglewood and Watts, East LA, to bring them all out next summer. Have a day with a bunch of celebrities play some flag football and then go over to the Dodger game and watch the Dodger game afterwards and have a luncheon with education and responsible members of society talking to these kids and inspiring them. Wow, that is very, very inspirational. That's absolutely amazing. Are you on the whole uh, social media front, Facebook and Twitter? Actually, I'm not actually right now, but really? I want to, yeah, I want to get more involved in that kind of stuff, whatever, but I sort of wanted to enter the social media world with a, a point of view and have an expression and I've I figured out what that is now and so I'm ready to walk into that, that door now. He is literally on one of the hottest shows right now on television. Now, what can we be expecting as the show progresses? Yo, I mean, it's badass. A lot more romance, you know. Um, this show, this season's great. Season four is definitely that balance between um, our main character, uh, Nina, and how she's balancing both sort of being in love with two brothers. And then uh, I'm bringing up the rear. Uh, I'm in love with Bonnie, and I'm willing to go fight for her, so. So, there's more love, Le less, more more love, less yeah, when, violence. When, like, there's, when there's love, there's war, though. That's, that's how the thing, right? There you go, like, right? There's, there's got to be some drama in it. Absolutely. And is there anything else that we're looking out, uh, we should be looking out for in the career, or is Vampire Diaries just keeping you super busy right now? Uh, I'm doing Vampire Diaries and a Jennifer Love Hewitt show, The Client List. I'm on that show, too, right now, too, as a recurring, so everything's going pretty good. It's super busy. How's working with uh, Hewitt? She's fantastic, yo. I'm, a, I'm in love with her as a, as a boss, uh, as a, as a co-star, and even as a human being. She's great. What would you say, like, um, let's talk about Vampire Diaries. Do they start writing, do they start writing and developing your uh, character based on who you are as they get to know you? Well, no, the writing staff, they're very particular about how they design the show. And, you know, for a while, I was sort of waiting in the wings, waiting to figure out what they're going to do with me. And that decision happened internally. And they sort of, like, take that time with you and saying, we're going to coach you to fit you the way we want this part to go. Oh, wow. So they're very specific about it, and they they really dive into the writing. So they've been writing now, and they're writing through episodes four or five. We haven't even barely even started episode one of this yeah, season. Yeah. So they're ahead of the game. So they know where they want you to go. Wow, that's incredible. And how is it all, uh, how is, like, the development of, like, jumping into, like, a character like a vampire you know it's a lot of running um, I lost some weight to get in, sh in shape with this role and uh, just definitely having like my my body to be able to keep up with my mind as far as in the show goes so I just want to look the best that I can because all the vampires are sexy and then I uh, definitely know that I'm hitting on my marks when it comes to my character speaking of sexy uh, the final question I'll ask you as a vampire whose blood would you love to suck oh definitely uh, Kate Graham's blood oh, wow. <laughs> you didn't even think Think about that. <laughs> Hands down, she's uh, she's out of, out of this world. Amazing, dude. This guy's absolutely inspirational. Thank you so much for spending some time with us at SLTV. Coming out here for LAPD's outreach program. 
listen to this guy and tune in. Uh, your when is when is your thing launching? Uh, you and I find out next summer. Next summer. Yeah. Tune in, guys. This guy, he's gonna be big. I'm Robert Shaw from Vampire Diaries. You're watching SLTV.